Persistent potholes across the city are a top issue for most Houstonians. A cyclist told KPRC2 a massive one he encountered almost killed him. That cyclist sued the city of Houston, claiming the city knew about the dangerous conditions, but didn't do enough to fix them. Joining us live this morning to explain more on what you should do if you are involved in a similar situation is Misty Hathaway Kane, managing attorney and owner of Kane LLC. Good morning. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Good morning. How are you? So far, so good. Thank you for coming on and talking about this. You know, uh, everywhere I, I can think of at least um, 10 massive potholes on roads throughout the city of Houston, including some of our interstates. They're very dangerous. They can be, and, and you, you hit on a very important word, dangerous condition. Mm -hmm. And the, that buzzword is what's really important under the Texas Tort Claims Act, which is the avenue for any individual to file any kind of claim against a governmental entity, whether it be a city, county, or state. Uh, Misty, what are some immediate steps, you know, someone can and should take if they are in fact injured by one of these potholes? So whether you're injured on a pothole by uh, driving in a vehicle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or driving a bicycle, there are some first steps that you should take. And these steps actually apply even if you're in any, any kind of personal injury uh, accident. Um, the first thing you need to do is assess your damage. Have you suffered any personal injury? Um, the picture you showed just a minute ago showed that Mr. Lesby had some pretty profound injuries to his face. You have that kind of injury, seek medical attention. Um, that's, I know it's blurred out, but that's that's some pretty substantial medical injury right there mm -hmm, that you need to get mm -hmm. a doctor to check you out. Go to the emergency room. Try to the extent you're able to keep track of the names of the emergency room you went to, the physical location of it, the names of the providers you were treated by. Um, that's going to be very important because you're going to need those records. To the extent you can take a picture of the physical location where the pothole is located. Um, under Texas law, the size of that pothole mm -hmm. is really important in determining whether or not you can actually make a claim. Um, if it is a little divot in the road, that makes a big difference versus if it's something that's three or four feet wide, seven or eight inches deep. Mm -hmm. And so take a physical picture as close in time as you can. Everybody has their cell phone near them. Try to take that picture as close in time to when you can. If anyone witnesses this accident, and whether you're in a group group of cyclists getting a training run or you're with a, a friend doing an afternoon ride after after work, try to get witness statements. Um, even if it is just by voice memo on your phone. And try to document as much as possible about the scene, about the weather, about the, the, the dangerous condition in the road, and also your injuries, and photograph, photograph, photograph. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, talk to us, Misty. What if another party is involved in the incident? If another individual is involved in the incident, it's really important to get if they have insurance. This typically falls in line in kind of an auto accident situation. Mm -hmm. If they have insurance, try to get a copy of their insurance card. You're going to need that. Get their name, contact information, and address, email, and phone number. That's very important as well. Um, try to get their statement as well. Um, conversely, if you are involved in an accident with someone else, be very wary of giving a witness statement. Um, what you say immediately after the accident can be used later on. Um, but please try to do as much as you can to document, whether by voice memo or picture, what the situation is at the moment in time that the accident occurred. From the pictures of your damages to your, to your bicycle or your car to physical injuries, try to document all of that as close in time to the time of the accident as possible. Mm -hmm. We saw those images of that, that man who was injured because of the pothole. Those are visible visible physical injuries. You know, the individual could have been concussed. What happens if these injuries you sustained from these potholes cause you to miss work? How do you handle situations like that? 
absolutely. All of us have our, our phones next to us. Take notes of the days that you can't go to work. Mm -hmm. So take note of the work periods that you can't go to work. So for example, let's say that you were given some high dose um, pain medicine to deal with the, the pain that you've suffered because of the injuries, if you've knocked teeth out or something. You clearly can't drive yourself to work if you are under some high narcotic medication. That is a work period that you are missing as a result of the injuries you sustained in this accident. Write all of that down. And, and it's so important to seek legal assistance early because you need to get, there are requirements that you must meet when you are filing a claim against a governmental entity. And each claim is very, very, very unique, very different, and they're fact specific. So document all of your information, document the days that you've missed work, make certain that you report your accident to your employer so they are aware you were in this accident. It is the reason why you cannot go to work mm -hmm, today. Mm -hmm. You hope to return to work tomorrow, whenever it may be and then get that information and try to find a good lawyer that has some experience in representing individuals against claim with claims against governmental entities. There are a lot of really great lawyers here in the Houston area for those of us here in the greatest city in the country, but there's a lot across this state that, mm -hmm. that are well-versed in the Texas Tort Claims Act and the immunities afforded to, to these governmental entities. Really great information, such great advice. Misty Hathaway-Kanay, thank you so much for your time this morning. We do really appreciate it.